um, you know, I'm almost doing something that someone would probably call a, a, a giant set or a um, compound set um, in the way of doing a tricep pushdown followed by a tricep reverse extension um, and then a superset because right behind that I'm going into uh, standing barbell curls. Um, at this point in this training session I'm kind of pulling from a lot of different um, uh, training strategies or philosophies um, while just working on trying to feel my muscles contract and pump blood into them and you know kind of just take notice of my machine. Um, from there I went into, let's see, we did those, we did uh, 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 incline, incline dumbbell extensions um, with a um, I'm sorry, yeah, incline, incline, I'm sorry, wow, it's, uh, blah, 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 preacher, preacher dumbbell, single preacher dumbbell curls with, uh, skull crushers, I did about three sets, um, from there I walked right into, um, um, a movement from my bicep, a movement from my tricep, a movement from my bicep, a movement from my tricep, um, this becomes what's called a superset. So at the same time of training my muscles, I'm also working on conditioning. And because I'm not trying to move a tremendous amount of weight, I'm trying to be mindful of the numbers, the rep range, and in a sense creating more volume. So I did a lot more exercises than, um, than I probably would if I were going a little bit heavier and taking a little bit more rest time in between sets. Um, probably did about five different movements for triceps today um, and a lot of that you know I want to caution the people at home um, not to think this is what I do every time I train arms but um, today I thought this was very fitting in an effort to again prime my machine and get ready for the things that I would like to do while I'm addressing my training going forward um, and I want to encourage the athletes out there that are um, that are looking for inspiration, that are looking for information, um, and the enthusiast at home. Okay, if Kai Green is doing this, well, why is he doing it? Please be aware that I'm not saying that you need to do these movements just like I'm doing it, the way that I'm saying that I do them. Um, I'm trying to encourage you to be aware of the reasons why I'm doing it like this. Today is, um, is again, my third day back in the gym um, as I begin to prime my machine, as I'm getting ready to you know get my preconditioning together and at this time this is what I need to do to um, you know work around my joints you know bring my system online um, and start getting ready for the things that I will be doing as we go forward um, so train my bicep the lower portion of my bicep with the incline dumbbell curls again not breaking any records you know um, um, in fact, probably if I stop to think about it, looking back on it, you know, to see, you know, this massive guy, <laughs> or this guy known for being massive, to see him curling like 30 or 40 pound dumbbells, you might think, oh my God, I could do that, that's nothing. Um, but in truth, what I want to encourage you to think about, if you should try this, is to imagine with each attempt to move the weight or the resistance, Imagine being able to contract, or to use your mind to command the muscles to contract as intensely as if you were standing in the mirror posing. And essentially that's really what I'm trying to do underneath my sweatshirt. And you can't see it because I have a sweatshirt on. But um, each and every time that the athlete that you're witnessing at this level is training at some point he has to learn and master his ability to contract the muscles um, against the resistance but the amount of resistance is not the primary focus the primary focus is the connection with the muscle and the ability to contract it um, so I'm looking for intense muscle contraction um, and it just so happens that I'm able to adjust the level of intensity, you know, by adding weight or, track or, or subtracting weight. But again, the focus isn't the weight. The focus is my contraction. 
So um, I put this out there for the people that will grasp it, or the people that will, you know, think, to, you know, that there's a little bit more information behind uh, behind the scenes. But that that's really what it is. Um,